I am Tracy Warren, social media superhero with Ready, Set, Grow Marketing. And I'm Melanie DiPoli, brand catalyst with Omicle, building brands worthy of going viral. So the thought occurred to us, we keep talking about this program called Social Brilliance Impact, and we thought we would answer some questions about what that is exactly. Social Brilliance Impact is a five-week course that teaches you the skills to turn your fans, followers, and connections into paying clients. It teaches you the tool behind the platform and helps you develop the skills to build your brand online and to build your reach. One is they're not consistent. They get excited, so they post every day for a week, and then you don't hear from them again for a month or two. I would say that's probably the number one thing. What do you think? The number one element that I notice is they don't truly understand what the tool is or how to use it. We're often taught, just post to Twitter or just post an update to LinkedIn. Great! That's awesome! If you can be consistent with it and know why you're doing it and what you intend to get out of it, that's a different story. Well, and I just thought of something else while you were talking is that businesses don't know what they really do or who their target market is. And they don't know what they don't know. And that's what social brilliance can help them with. Awesome. Yes, your whole team does. And the reason for this is when you're assigning tasks for different people and you have different people engaging on social media, there needs to be a consistent voice. There needs to be a consistent approach. And when different members of your team mm. have different skill sets in using the tool, it makes producing results on social media really hard, sometimes even impossible. It also goes along with building your tribe. We talk, we talk a lot in Social Brilliance Impact about building your tribe, and your tribe is not always members of the same team. But if your tribe doesn't understand how to use the tools, they could be marketing and communicating with you in wrong ways, or ways that are not beneficial for you. I actually have two. The first one is just be yourself. No, think, we're allowed to do that? I know, I just think too many times Businesses get wrapped up in how do I put out the perfect message or say just the right thing or and just be yourself. But if I could add a second one, you know all those annoying thing things that other businesses do on social media? Don't do them. Like what? Like, oh, I don't know, turning Veterans Day into a holiday about makeup. Oh, it's not very bad. Yeah. Very bad. Don't do that. But there's all sorts of, I mean, goodness gracious, if you go to Google and search for bad examples of social <laughs> media, you're going to be there all day. Plus. Plus. And, uh, but, yeah, be yourself and don't do all those annoying things that other businesses do. And Social Brilliance will teach you how to not do those, but what are the right things for you to do. Hashtags is something we talk a lot about and understanding what tools hashtags actually help you and what tools hashtags can hurt you. The easy answer is no. We're going to show you the top four tools, the ones that we know to be most effective, but the truth of the matter is it would be better for you to harness, understand, and effectively use one tool than for you to fumble using all four or more. The other element to consider with all four social media tools is these are the big four. Not only are we going to show you how the tools work, but how the tools work together. And that's the biggest element with marketing and having success in marketing and in building your brand. Is it's not just about what social platforms are you using, 
but it's how are you making them work together? How does your online work with your offline? How does your Facebook work with your LinkedIn? Should they? Do they? These are the questions we'll answer in Social Brilliance Impact. And one of my favorite words, so Mel said earlier that we'll be talking a lot about hashtags. We'll also be talking a lot about leverage and how do you use the platforms to support one another as well. Just to make it easier. Did you know that social media is supposed to be easy? I did. <laughs> but I bet they don't know that. They might not. But we can show them how to do it. We will. Yes. Social okay. Brilliance Impact will show you how to make social media easy. Social Brilliance Impact is for small business owners and marketing teams. If you're a small business owner, time is anything but your friend. You are a one, usually a one to three man shop, maybe even a five man shop, and you never have enough time. We're going to show you how to make social media easy so it doesn't take up any more time than what is necessary. In addition to that, take up less time and actually drive some sales, perhaps? Ooh, that's always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and as a team, Social Brilliance Impact can level the team's expertise. So everybody will know the exact same information so you can Build your marketing plan and your social plans effectively so you can produce results. It's for you. That's who it's for. I like that. Because chances are, if you're watching this video, you might be one of the people that's fumbling and stumbling over your social media. And this little investment that you're going to make is going to produce amazing results. If you're looking to create social media impact, then Social Brilliance is for you. If you feel or feel like you're risking time, effort, and money by participating or venturing into social media, then Social Brilliance Impact is for you. If you would like to turn your fans, followers, and connections into paying clients, then Social Brilliance Impact is for you. Sign up today.